Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a bootable Windows 10 USB drive uh, using this Rufus tool. So Rufus is a tool which will allow you to create bootable USB drives on your Windows operating system. So the USB drive which you uh, will create using Rufus, you can use it to install, let's say, Windows operating system or uh, Ubuntu operating system or any other Linux or Windows operating system. So let's see how we can install Rufus on our Windows operating system. So the first uh, thing you need to do is you just need to go to your favorite browser and search for Rufus. And the first link which will appear here will be from Rufus.ie. And you can see Rufus is a small application which creates a bootable USB drive which can then be used to install Microsoft Windows, Linux, or DOS operating system. So I'm going to just click on this uh, link here. And then straight away, uh, you will be see able to see uh, this kind of interface here. From here, you can choose your language. By default, it's in English. But if you want to choose any other language, you can choose it from here. And when you scroll down, you will be able to see uh, the latest version of uh, Rufus here. So what we are going to do is we are going to choose uh, the latest one which is on the top which is Rufus 3.10 at the time of making this video. So I'm going to just click on this link which will uh, download this uh, Rufus.exe file. So I'm going to just click on save which is going to save this exe file. And once this executable file is downloaded just click on this executable file and then I'm going to minimize the browser here and here it says do you want to allow Rufus to check for the application updates online I'm going to just say yes here and now you can see whenever you click on this uh, executable file you will be able to see this kind of interface so now uh, the only thing which you need to create a USB bootable drive is the ISO file of the operating system for which you want to create this bootable USB. So uh, you may have bought the Windows 10 ISO file from a valid website or if you just want to evaluate the Windows 10 operating system to check whether Windows 10 operating system is the operating system you want to have and later purchase it then you can also uh, download the evaluation version of windows 10 operating system for 90 days so in these 90 days you can uh, just evaluate windows 10 operating system so if you want to uh, download the evaluation version of windows 10 operating system for 90 days then just search for microsoft evaluation windows 10 and the first link which will appear here will be from microsoft.com so i'm going to just click on this link most probably i will uh, provide this link in the description of this video also and then here you will be able to see uh, these options one is iso uh, enterprise other is iso ltse i'm going to choose iso enterprise here you can see it's only available for 90 days so 90 days are enough to evaluate and test uh, your Windows operating system and then you can decide whether you want to buy it or not. So I'm going to just click on continue here and here you need to provide all the information about yourself and about your company. So in the company if you don't have any company you can mention here and uh, then uh, your job title and uh, your phone number. So provide all the valid information here. And when you click on the continue button, uh, you will be able to download this Windows 10 ISO file, uh, which is the evaluation version of Windows 10 ISO file. So after you have downloaded this ISO file, uh, which is the evaluation version, it's going to look like this. And at the end, it has the extension ISO. So at this point, you should have a USB uh, drive, which you can uh, just insert into your Windows operating system. So let's say I just insert this USB drive into my uh, Windows operating system. And once I insert this USB drive, you will be able to see uh, the name of that USB drive on uh, this device section. So when I go to my PC and you can see this is my USB drive which I have inserted which is around uh, 8 GB right 
So at this point, you need to make sure that the data inside your USB drive, uh, you have the backup of that data because whenever you create a bootable USB, uh, this data will be uh, formatted and all cleared for the operating system, right? So let's say this is the USB which I have inserted uh, and then you need the ISO file. So you can uh, just say disk or ISO file image and from here you can sele select that ISO file. So I'm going to go to the location. Let's say I have a Windows ISO file here. So I'm going to choose this Windows operating system ISO file. This is the Windows 10 ISO file. And then for Windows 10 for a newer um, hardware, you uh, should use uh, this partition screen, which is GPT. There is MBR also, uh, which also can be used for the different uh, hardware, but nowadays most of the partition schemes are GPT, right? So I, will, I would recommend you to use GPT for Windows 10 at least. And then for GPT, if you select GPT here, you can uh, select NTFS for the file system here. Okay, so just choose NTFS uh, in the file system. And then you can also give the volume label to your uh, uh, USB drive. So let's say I'm going to just uh, give Windows uh, 10 label here and you are good to go. So the partition scheme is GPT and file system is NTFS and you just need to uh, insert your USB drive. For Windows 10, uh, at least 8 GB uh, USB drive is required. So make sure you have at least 8 GB for Windows 10. And uh, then you need uh, ISO file for Windows 10, let's say. And then once you are done with all those settings, you can also choose the advanced settings here. But for now, we are going, not going to use uh, these advanced settings. You just need to click on start, which is going to start the uh, creation of bootable uh, USB drive. You can see uh, this warning also, which says all data on the device, uh, which is my USB device will be destroyed. So make sure you have the backup of your uh, data on your USB drive. And once you click on OK, it's going to create your USB drive. So I'm going to just uh, click on uh, OK here. And then you can see it's going to start the process of creating the bootable uh, USB drive. In my case, I'm creating a Windows 10 uh, bootable uh, drive using this Rufus tool. So this is how you can download and install Rufus on your Windows operating system and create bootable hard drives using your Rufus tool.